What's up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are curious about this makeup look, by the way, I will have it linked down below for you guys. I just filmed it, so hopefully I'll have that one up before this one, but if not, it's coming soon. I thought I would also film my favorite eyeshadow brushes. I don't think I've really done a whole lot of talking about brushes, and it's so important because your brushes can make or break your look. Like you can be using average shadows. If you're using awesome brushes, you can totally make it work. So I thought I would go through that with you guys today. I did just use them all, so they're not very clean, but you'll get the idea. So if you guys would like to know what my favorite eyeshadow brushes are, please keep watching. So first of all, when you're starting off with eyeshadow, probably the most important brushes are the blending brushes. So I have two that are my favorite. Well, this one is a firm blender brush. This is what it looks like. It's a little dirty, but we'll focus. So this is a firm, you know what, I'm gonna zoom in on these brushes. So this is a firm blender brush by EXO Beauty. As I said, I just used it, so it's a little bit dirty. Um, but this is such a nice brush, it's synthetic. So the thing I like about synthetic brushes is that they don't pick up as much of the shadow as real hair brushes do because they can't absorb anything. They're not porous like a real hair brush is. So I find that they are really great for applying product because you'll get as much product, almost as much product as you pick up will go on your eye. I really like this one because it's got like the regular shape of like say a MAC 217 which a lot of these brushes are kind of mocked after. I don't know if MAC was the first one, I just always assume because they've been around forever, but anyway, um, but this one I really like because it's a little bit more flexible. I don't know if it's because the bristles are, are synthetic or if it's just because of the way it's designed, the way that they're packed in there. It's not as dense, so I find that for some reason I just find that it's really nice for applying into the crease. It's also nice for blending sort of like up around the edges so that your eyeshadow is not super intense, so that you don't have any harsh lines. EXO Beauty is a company that was started by a YouTuber named Shannon. And Harris she's from New Zealand and that's where it's all made and shipped from oh no wait her brushes are made in Italy yeah her brushes are made in Italy but they're shipped from New Zealand so I have actually a video about my ordering experience with EXO Beauty and so I'll link that for you guys down below if you're interested to see what it was like ordering from there from Canada I love supporting people that you know have gone from youtuber to entrepreneur so happy to do that I'm gonna do another order soon and this was the only brush that I ordered and I really really like it so I'm definitely gonna order some more for brushes so the next blending brush if you don't want to order from EXO Beauty like if you are a Morphe fan and want to order something that might it probably will take the same amount of time to get this because it comes from California but anyway this is the Morphe R39. Um, Morphe brushes are so good, you guys. Like, they are so cheap and they work so well. One difference that I notice when you buy inexpensive brushes, you know, when I compare these to, like, my MAC brushes or even this EXO Beauty brush, washes so well. These are a little bit cheaper, like, in quality and in price. That being said, they are still awesome brushes. You don't need to spend a ton of money on brushes for them to be awesome. You just need to get the right ones. I find that these Morphe, all of my Morphe brushes, and I have quite a few of them, they're hard to wash and you have to make sure you reshape them because they won't dry properly but that but that's no big deal I'll spend like five bucks on a brush and I will if you take care of it it will last forever when it comes to applying makeup this is every bit as good as my MAC 217 which is probably four times the price um, I'm not exact I didn't memorize the prices for these uh, but I will have everything linked down below so that you guys can find it and order it yourself if you're interested um, brushes is something that I get asked about all the time so I'm sure anybody watching this video is curious to know what brushes I would recommend or what brushes any makeup artist would recommend for that matter um, but I find that this is a really great brush it works perfectly um, I just used it in a tutorial and it's awesome I love it so when it comes to applying product on the lid I love the MAC 239 it's shaped sort of like oh come on focus focus for me there we go so it's a flat brush as you can see one I like to use one side to pack product onto the lid um, I find that I like this one because it's so tiny that you can be very precise with it. There are tons of flat eyeshadow brushes out there, so you don't have to get this one in particular, but get a flat eyeshadow brush that's a little bit tiny so that you can be like very nice and precise with it. Okay, so the next brush, this is actually a new brush for me, but any brush that's like this will do. I have a couple of these from Morphe. Um, these were both kind of like theme brushes that I got in my Morphe uh, Live Glam, like Morph Me, Morphe Me whatever that is, subscription, which I will link down below. I did go over one of these that I got recently. These are both really nice. This is, 
they're two different brushes, obviously, because one has white hair and one has dark hair, but they do the same thing. So these are just a little bit longer, and I find if you want to do like more of a precise crease application, then these ones are a little bit better than you know just one of these, which is a little bit thicker. These ones are both nice and flexible, so very easy to use. I think they're both synthetic. They feel synthetic to me, but I find it hard to tell. I'm not sure, but Morphe brushes, if they're synthetic or not. Um, but I love both of these. So this is the PK36, and this is the RG... Yeah, RG24. It kind of looks like an 8, but it's a G. So RG24 and PK36. These are both Morphe brushes. They're both awesome. You don't have to use Morphe brushes. You can use any brush that looks like this and feels like this that works for you, but these are the two that I really like for like sort of a more defined crease look. So then I always, always, always use a pencil brush, whether I'm applying makeup on myself or whether I'm applying it on a client. A pencil brush is a necessity for me. I find that these are great for applying product underneath the lash line. They're also great for packing it nice and tight to the lash line on top of the lid. So these are both awesome pencil brushes. They're both very different, but they will pretty much do the same thing. This is the Mikasa E310. This is great for smoking eyeshadow underneath the lash line. I just used it in this tutorial for that purpose. Um, it's awesome because it's a little bit more feathery. It's not packed so tight and it's a little bit bigger. So uh, you get you can use it for sort of more of a smoky lash line look. This MAC 219, and again, I don't know if they have this exactly the same anymore, but you can find pencil brushes all over. It doesn't have to be this one. This one is a little is packed a little bit tighter and comes to a point. So you can do like more precision work around your lash line. So those are my favorite eyeshadow brushes. All of them are so pretty except they were clean and now they're dirty. So anyway, love these brushes. I would recommend any of these to anybody. People are always asking me what brushes to use and these are the ones that I would absolutely recommend to anybody. There's some expensive ones in here but there's definitely some inexpensive options so hopefully you guys were able to find exactly the brush that you're missing and what you would like to use it for. If you would like to see more from me please subscribe as well. If you are unsure how to subscribe all you need is a Gmail account. You sign into YouTube as you would to Gmail. You hit subscribe and you're good to go. I hope you found this helpful. I will have all of the products linked down below and please comment and let me know if you try any of these brushes or if you have any brushes that you think that I might like. I'm always looking to try new things, so definitely let me know down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.